Hello, good morning. Today is a wonderful day. Hi, so welcome back to a brand new vlog. I'm coming to you from the bed, as you can see. It might be 11 and I might still be in my bed. Whoopsies. I think it's these new sheets, they're just so cute. They make me not wanna leave. So, today's gonna be a new vlog. Today is gonna involve some cooking, some cleaning, some, aka a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of tie dyeing. I know I'm very excited to have step two slash occasion two of tie dyeing loads of pieces. I basically scoured through my wardrobe and picked out as much as I could find that I wanted to tie dye. Um, so I have just a few items and just a few bottles of bleach. Um, so yeah, it's not actually tie dyeing, it's reverse bleach dyeing, but you know what I mean. So I'm very, very excited for that. We're also going to be working out, you know, it's going to be a jam-packed vlog. But um, a reason, another reason why I'm still in bed is I might be obsessed with something new. Um, and that might be, I mean, it's not something new because it's TikTok. Um, and I think everyone can kind of relate to the whole I can't get off TikTok thing and going to bed at like 3 o'clock in the morning. That was definitely not me last night at all, staying up and watching TikToks till 3 o'clock in the morning. Definitely not. But this video is actually in partnership with VPN, who are a VPN app that you guys can download now in case you don't know what a vpn is a virtual private network now you might have heard of them you might not have heard of them um and the whole reason they are about is to firstly protect you online and make it more secure and things like that but the reason you guys might have heard of them is for things like streaming shows when you're not in the right country. So this is literally the only way that me and mum managed to watch Love Island when we weren't in Europe. You know, it's a big thing. I needed to watch Love Island when me and mum were in America, downloaded NordVPN, got it going, was able to watch Love Island. It actually made the entire trip, I'm not going to lie. Um, so that is another thing they are great for. The reason I've been extra obsessed with TikTok lately is because I can obviously change where I am. It can connect you to international servers. So I am on the app right now. I'll come a bit closer so you guys can see. If you can see that. So here is a map of the world. Um, obviously we are, where are we? We're over here, yeah? Yeah, that's us. Sorry, I'm being a bit dumb today. Um, and let's say I want to come over to America, which is probably most people's first choice. So then I've clicked on the United States and I just click quick connect. And then in literally no time at all, I'm connected to a server in the United States. And now my iPad thinks I'm in the United States, which gives me the ability to go on American websites, watch American shows, and also go on American TikTok. I just feel like their TikTok is a lot more interesting. Getting on their For You page, it makes you blow up a lot quicker. So it's just been a bit of fun. Um, so literally then we can just go over to TikTok. And then here we go. Here's some people that I've literally never seen come up on my For You page before. Um, and I feel like my For You page gets very, very samey, samey. So it's quite fun because I can literally change my country every single time I go on. And then, you know, I end up with finding different people all around the world. I do actually have a code, which is Misha. And that gets you 70% off NordVPN. You can actually get it for £2.68 a month. And then you also get an additional three months out. A few other things to mention is that obviously, you know, we go on the internet all the time. We're not thinking about like what websites we're going on and things like that. So VPN is really good at protecting your online safety. And they also have a 30 day back money guarantee. So if you don't get along with it, you know, you can get your coin back. And on top of that, if you're having any problems with it or you know, you can't figure something out, they have a 24 seven chat. So say it's 4am and you know, it's not working and you're trying to watch a show you can just pop on a message them and they can help you out and it doesn't just work on apples it also works on samsung's and things like that an android phone user i'm not making any judgment i'm an apple user but if you're an android user 
then you could still use it. Anyway, so yes, I will now get out of bed and stop going on TikTok, but I'll make sure to link NordVPN down below if you guys want to check it out. And let's get on with the day, y'all. Okay, peeps, so here is the new bedding that I was talking about. It's from Urban Outfitters. And yes, I'm obsessed with this whole tie-dye thing that I've even gone to my bedding for it. But look, it's like a female, it's like a boy and a girl pillow. And I'm being stereotypical there. Um, look, there's a blue and a pink pillow, and then obviously I've got my little cat thing over the top, but I need to sort out my room, it's a bit of a mess. Um, but anyway, let's go. Oh my god, also I need to show you my outfit. Let's go and brush my teeth. Hello. So, sports bra is from Fabletics, and then these little shorts are from Urban Outfitters, but they're the Adidas, like, three-stripe ones, but they're, like, a little bit more... Wow, great shot of the toilet there. Anyway, I need to wash and brush and sort out my hair. I think, oh my God, it's so greasy. The problem is because, oh, also, as you can probably see, my hair isn't that pink right now. Um, it's kind of like a very pale orangey pink. Um, I ran out of the Lee Stafford treatment, so I um, haven't redone it and I've washed my hair twice. So I reckon if I wash my hair one more time, it will go back to the original blonde, which I might do just to see what it goes back to and then redo the pink when the stuff arrives. Um, but because my roots are so dark in comparison to my hair, that's why it makes my hair look really greasy really soon. But it's fine, we have brush and poo, that's what we need. And I might do two braids because I think I'm gonna go for a run. Um, yeah, wish me luck. So I feel like braids are a good shout because I feel like when I have my hair in a ponytail, like I always watch these fitness videos and these people like, it doesn't hit them in the face or like it doesn't fall out. Whereas when I do it, it's a mess. Anyway, I don't know if I've showed you my new electric toothbrush. Woo. Anyway, I'm gonna grab my brush and poo, brush my teeth and I'll be back. Okay. Dry shampoo. I've got some Batiste here. Um, this is the Fruity and Bright Love is Love. So I think this is a pride one. Um, but basically, any Batiste will work. And look, because it's so white, it kind of covers up my roots. I also kind of look like a mad scientist, but that's besides the point. And I just get it in my fingers. Just rub it through. I'm also going to open my bathroom window. Because this stuff kind of stinks. I also don't know how warm it is outside, so I don't actually know what to wear for my run um, because I don't want to get too hot and then have to carry it. But can you kind of see the hair color I am? It's kind of like a, a light orangey toned blonde. Interesting look. Um, it's done a good job though, that's really helped. Um, what I probably would also do is put a little bit in the sides just to give me some more volume to work with. Scrub, 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 scrub. Okay, we are done. Now I'm just gonna grab a tiny little bit of hairspray just to try and fix these baby hairs in place. But I mean, it's not my finest work, but it's also not awful. Anyway, let's get downstairs. Let's get my running shoes on and let's attempt this. I definitely think I'm gonna need a jumper, but I'm just concerned I'm gonna get really sweaty. I suppose I can always tie it around my waist. It'll be fine. Hi, so I put a jumper on because I'm scared it's gonna be really cold outside, um, but I'm ready to go. Mama Grimes is over here at her desk watching some this morning. I am not watching. Oh, it's very dark, you can't really see her. Good, but good, 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 good. Keep it shot. That way. We've got a new onesie and a new headband of the day. There we go. Day, yes. Mish, how do you control this? Oh, my God. What are you trying to do? The volume? volume? No, no volume. Where do you put it on stop? You've got the wrong remote. That's not the sky one. God, this woman doesn't know how to use a telly. This woman is a lovely mother, you know. And then look at this little boy. Yeah. So Good morning, it's actually the afternoon. How amazingly lucky. I don't know if it will reach from over there, woman, but anyway. So this is me pre-run. We'll see you maybe like halfway through, um, and then we'll see you at the end. Wish me luck. 
in case you didn't know, I'm really not a runner. I also don't have anywhere to put my phone apart from in my hand. And I, oh, actually, I can put it in can my pocket. Can we just see how fit she looks? Um, can we just see? Can I do it? We just take a moment to appreciate this girl is looking fit. Okay, Misha, let's see your six pack. Come on, show us your six pack. I really don't have a six oh, pack. Oh, she's Mom. got such great motivate. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yeah, I wish I didn't have a six pack. Look at it. Okay, oh, belly buttons alone. are so ugly. Yeah, especially they? mine with the belly yeah. piercing hole. And anyway, it's really crap today. It's because it's miserable. Oh, that's better. That's better. Oh, and those socks. I mean, what is wrong with. Hi. Okay. Two, wow, two kilometers down. I'm not that sweaty. Feels relatively good, better than it has before, but my shin is a little bit sore, so I'm not quite sure how much I'm gonna do. But after the first kilometer, the clothes came off. Two, three, two, one. I'm gonna grab a drink of water and we're gonna go again. See you when I'm back. Hi, 5.2 kilometers later, I'm back. I'm sweaty, but I'm feeling, I'm not feeling good right now, but I'll feel good in like five minutes. So, I think that took me like just over half an hour. Not bad, not bad. Anyway, I'm gonna make myself a nice coffee. Okay, so I'm finishing off my workout by doing a little abs and um, resistant band situation. Um, I'm gonna do it inside because it's not going to be like a high intensity sweaty sesh and it's just a little bit too cold outside so i'm going to pop you guys down you can enjoy we've also got alf over here who will be watching me um but then we will actually get on with some interesting stuff hopefully aka dying Woo! i'm excited Okay, I'm finished my workout. I am body washed. I am in some loungewear and I have a big pile of clothes in my hand because all of these are what I'm going to be tie dyeing or I mean it's, it's actually reverse, reverse bleach dyeing but you know what I mean. Um, I want to try it on some denim. I've got some denim shorts. I've got a denim skirt. I've got some like Primark pyjama tees that I actually think if I reverse bleached them and I cropped them they'd be really cute gym tops. Then I have something very exciting because I have a PLT tracksuit. Now I checked the fabric and there is it's not just polyester so I'm hoping it works but if that works that will look insane. I've also got this little skinny dip t-shirt that I thought could look cute especially if I cropped it. I'm very excited but we're gonna go out onto um, the decking so that you know we can do this outside when mum's not going to complain about the smell of bleach but I'll take you through the whole process again. I hope you're excited because I really am. Also I might have a tie-dye kit arriving. <laughs> you never know. Aya, uh, so I'm outside. I've set you up on a tripod. What is my dog doing? Alfie, behave. Um, and I'm just getting black bin liners like I did last time and I'm just laying them out to protect the area but also, um, this table is outside, so it's not the cleanest. But I also don't want to really bleach the table, even if it is white. So I'm literally just getting them and ripping them. Um, obviously, if you have a proper, like, tablecloth that this would work on or something, I don't really know. That'd be a better idea, but these work. So we're going with that. Alfie! Also, you might have seen that I've changed into like, you know, I said I changed into loungewear, but it's basically clothes that I don't mind if they get a little bit, you know, of bleach on them because that might happen, peeps. Okay, so I'm just sorting out my clothes. I've also got a little bag of elastic bands. 
Oh, I've also, in this mane and tail bottle, got half bleach, half water. Um, some people said that you're supposed to use just straight bleach, but I just used water and bleach last time and it worked. So I think that might be a little bit of a safer option. Um, and I will remind you all, if you are young or an idiot like me, um, please get some supervision and please don't hurt yourself because you are dealing with bleach, which is dangerous. Also, get gloves. This is what I've got. Now, I'm going to start probably with this hoodie because this is what I'm most excited about. Um, I'm also going to pop my phone on charge. I hope there's someone praying. Pray Roll up your sleeves, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, now if you recall last time, we just grab the hoodie and we just kind of scrunch. Now, I know some people do it in like a wheel, but I personally prefer the pattern that a scrunch gets you, but obviously it's all personal preference. You do you. Now, if this doesn't work on this one, I'm gonna be so mother freaking disappointed. What are you doing, dog? I'm assuming we're using elastic bands because they don't melt with the bleach. That's my initial observation. I might be wrong. Maybe other bands would work, but I've been too scared to try it with other bands and I've only done it with elastic bands. But maybe it would work with like hair bands. Who knows, let me know if you try it out. Misha getting very technical as per usual. Also, there's obviously only a certain amount of pieces I'll be able to do at once because I just don't have enough elastic bands. But I think we'll basically go until I've used them all up and then. Okay, here we go. We've got said scrunched item. We're gonna grab our bottle of mane and tail, <laughs> AKA not mane and tail, it's actually bleach. We just start squirting, ladies and gentlemen. Oh god, okay. I obviously used like a pump one last time, but I couldn't find that same bottle. So I thought this one would work better. But I'm actually using a lot of it. Wow, okay. I thought this would hold more than it seems to. Well, if this works, this is going to look blooming great. Okay, done. Layer uno. Now I'm going to put my glove on and I'm going to flip the garment and it's not that scrunched here so I might add there we go peeps one down 7,000 to go I might just do it on the jumper for the moment see if it takes the colour and then do the joggers because I don't want to waste my time um, but I'm going to leave that one there and I'm going to move over to the next station because I'm going to do them in actually I'll just do it here just so that I don't end up getting bleach everywhere. Now, I'm kind of tempted to not scrunchy this one up and kind of try and do it as like little paint strokes. Let's just try. I don't know if this will work. It might look awful, it might look cute. We're gonna have to wait and see. Can you see that item? How cool does that look? Okay, what I have noticed is that the like dye obviously spreads the bleach. So I might go slightly more minuscule, but I can like, if I look, I can feel like the little bubbles creating. Okay, let's flip this bad boy over. And then we're just gonna do a light dribbling technique. I quite like this technique. If this looks cute, I'm here for it. Okay, second item done. Now, I kind of want these to be I think I need straight bleach for denim because it's a much thicker fabric. So I'm going to go get the bottle of bleach. Okay, look, that one's already turning, which just proves that this one's doing nothing. So I've got the bleach. And I think I'm just going to... Oh, no, I can see slight detailing of it happening, but I think this one needs straight bleach. Um, okay, let's flip it over. Remember to please be careful, Pete. That doesn't come out looking sick. I'm gonna be so disappointed. Now we're moving over here to the denim. Now, okay, I'm just gonna take off this glove again, remembering to be safe and cautious. Um, now, I know people have done like the one-sided thing, but I just kind of want them like an acidy wash. So, 
I don't know if they should just dribble the bleach on it. Let's grab some bands and attempt. I don't know if they should just do splash. Maybe I will just try and scrunchy up the denim. This might completely fail, but these are old shorts that I wouldn't really wear otherwise. So yeah, it will be okay. I hope you're somewhere praying. Oh my god, Misha, stop singing that freaking song. Your ear is... Okay, this is really freaking hard to try and scrunchy up denim. Okay, gonna go with that. Just gonna grab the bleach. And we're just gonna dribble it. We're just going to dribble it. Now, if this works out, then I think I found a new TikTok trend. Um, well another version of a TikTok trend. And then I'm gonna flip it. And then I'm gonna dribble. Yes, yes, yes. Last time people also asked me what bleach I used and this is literally just a thick bleach citrus. And I'm not gonna lie, I've literally already used over half of it on only three items. I'm not quite sure how, but anyway, let's continue. I'm gonna move us over here. This is a like it's like one of those instagram boutiques that do like the designer print t-shirts um and it's just not a shape that i personally like on me at like the shape of the t-shirt i'm honestly not sure where it's from because it doesn't even have a label um but i think if i cut this and tie-dyed it i'd freaking love it so let's get scrunching okay we are on the last couple of bands <laughs> did you just hear mum she was like what the hell is going on we're doing a tie-dyeing studio i can tie down one of your onesies if you want me to no thanks oh look how good it's done on the little american apparel top there we go then we're gonna grab this and we're gonna flip it and then we're gonna dribble 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 he keeps on bloody going over there and trying to eat animals and be friends with them that don't exist. Oh my goodness me! This looks incredible! Oh my god, I'm going to try and bring it to the camera. Could we dip dye him but not with bleach okay, please? Can you go away because I've got bleach near me so I don't want to get on the dog. Get him down. I've already said him. Oh you have. It's pretty too well. dark as well. Um, guys. Look how well that's worked! Oh my god! Oh, by the way, Alfie claps for NHS every Thursday. He goes like that, dirty darling. Yeah. I have another one to do it with as well. Uh. Okay, we're going again. This is another American Apparel top. I don't know if you can see this, guys, but Mum's brought a mask. Well, you need to do it. Well, I've got bleachy hands. Well, then wait. you're putting upside down. Oh, I don't know. Take your glasses off. Oh, can you even see this? No, 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 what are you doing? It doesn't seem to be dyeing the purple, it seems to be ruining it, which is great. Woo! Okay, I think that one's probably ready to be cold washed and then put in the washer, which is amazing. But the last one I'm going to show you is this black champion tea. So I got this in America, um, and again, I love them, but I feel like I could like them more. And also, I have those black joggers and I want a matching top to go with it. I'm going to stop for a moment here, take a breather, um, and take off his mask because hats off to every single person I'm going to wear these right now because I've literally had it on for about three minutes and it's already causing me a load of pain. So, I mean, this grey one is working great. I don't know if you can see that there we go um the black one's already working i genuinely don't think those plt joggers are doing anything which is really freaking sad hopefully i haven't ruined them and when i wash them they'll just be back to normal but i have a feeling i might have ruined them which is fun but anyway see you when i've got an update yes hi everyone so we're in the kitchen i'm currently making my oh, dinner excuse me <laughs> and look who we've got yet again Hello. I don't think a vlog will go past where you're not in it. <laughs> oh, that's nice. We're always together and Chloe's got a day off. Yes, I do. Yay. Um, so I'm currently trying to make zucchini. Um, what is this recipe? These, these zucchinis definitely aren't big enough. 
like the size of my zucchini versus her zucchini. I'm tempted to do the, the aubergine. Um, I've unplugged all the stuff in my eggplant and now I'm seasoning it to go in the oven for 20 minutes, people. Hi, so we're about to start frying some onion. Um, I'm just using my little light spray, you know, and then we're gonna... Why do you put that stupid in the onion? I know, it's like my stupid presenter voice. I don't know presenter. why. Just flattering yourself. No, but you know what I mean? Like it sounds like a kids TV presenter. Hello, I'm Misha Grimes, and <laughs> I am a celebrity chef. I mean, I'm I mean, I know I come across fake, but this is another level. Pardon? Oh, Jesus, that's a bit sweaty. I was going to say, talk a bit celebrity chef. It's my cheesecake. Oh, that looked great to be fair. I know. And it's rather nice to put that. I'm doing stuffed aubergines, mother. Ooh. Now we're going to add some spices. We're going to put a little bit of turmeric, ladies and gentlemen. I put quite a bit of turmeric by accident. Why am I doing the voice again? Yes. Doing this. Doing the Why am I doing the voice again? Okay, and then. Um, I What's your favourite TV show? Um, Gino de Camp. Oh, he's lovely, isn't he? We love a bit of Gino. I think he's got quite a good accent. <laughs> oh, well, Sorry, I'm... all the Italian people that are watching. I tried, guys. Yeah. Okay, is this my... Yeah, oh. Misha, do my Polish Let's accent. Let's do a little bit I don't know what your Polish accent I'm crap at accent. Gonna add a little bit of mixed spice. I am following a recipe. It's on like Easy Natural or something. I've been loving them recently. I've got to say, that's the one mistake that I make. I never follow recipes. Misha does, and as a result, her food always turns out good. Excuse me. No, it's because I'm a natural I improvise. Chef. I improvise. Yeah, and then you eat the same thing every day. Yep, yeah, I do. Oh, here we go. We need some paprika. Not every day. Every day of the week. Yeah, Mum basically repeats the meals over and over, which. I mean, I don't really do, to be fair. Um, we've got some paprika. What else do we need? I never know how much stock to put, though. That'll do. Okay. Mixy, mixy, mixy. And then we're going to add this to the vegetables. Look at that lettuce. Oh, can you show? Oh, look at it. See better days. It's because Misha pushes all the shopping and it touches the back of is the this fridge. This is a slag Misha obsession. <laughs> the dog's currently having a poo. I do not want to see that. No, you. Also, I was supposed to put the aubergines in for 20 minutes. I honestly don't know how long ago I put them in, but we're going with it. We're chopping up our tomatoes. Somehow it's six o'clock. And I honestly don't know where these days are going. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like it was, I feel like I woke up five minutes ago. Exactly. Sorry. So, Kevin, cook with number guys. Right, what do we Check. Can we see this little tray of all the we got girls? Yeah, all the bits that you didn't make. This is weird, actually. I come from Poland and we do mushrooms in oil, and these are delicious. Ew. Wild mushrooms. Ew, mushrooms in oil, disgusting. Also, extremely good for your digestion. Fermented food. Fermented. Fermented, and this is turmeric and cumin, and it's sauerkraut. You probably haven't even heard of it ever in your life, but I mean, check people it out. probably have. Yeah. Um, anyway, can you shut up now? Because I would like to get back to my cooking. We've got peppers. Now. We've got collars. No one gives a poo. Anyway, back to me because you know this is my video. We are popping in it's the chopped channel. tomatoes. Here we go. This is quite tomato y to be fair. And then we're also popping in. Where are my lentils gone? Here they are. I've got some poi pew lentils. Um, it says to use 300 grams, um, but I only have 250, but we're going with it. Also, this recipe is for like four people. Um, yeah. We are big eaters. And I'm making it just for me. But YOLO. I normally force mum to try stuff, to be fair. Wow, this awesome. actually looks great. Mum, you're going to hate this, though. It's lentils and tomato. Two things that mum really dislikes. No, I like tomatoes, but in a salad. Yeah, but you don't like like tomato sauces, which is a weirdo. Mm. 
I'm gonna add some more seasoning just because I feel like, you know, the lentils are gonna need something to jazz them up a little bit. I this think is... I think she's doing the right thing by cooking. I've just looked at the ingredients of my burger and it's got something called metasabufide sulfur dioxide. Well, sulfur dioxide is salt. No, meta... The meta something, I don't know what that is, yeah. but sulfur dioxide is just Yeah, salt. that does not sound healthy, does it? Well, no, no. That's, what, that's, a, that's what meat so. and processed food is like, sadly. Excuse me, it's not processed. Mum, everything that's in a packet has been processed per se. Wow. What are they? Oh, My aubergine skins. They look amazing. They look, they look great. Look like potatoes, don't they? I'll be what you're doing. They've softened up nicely, so I reckon... I just, once these are cooked, pop them in. Sorry, you're a bit dodgy. Once this is heated up nicely, I'm gonna let the tomatoes wilt down. Oh, there we go. Just as I start recording, the fire alarm was going off like a crazy fool. Because it was mum that was burning stuff, I didn't not burn me. I not anything, look, they're not burned. They go very smoky. Yeah, well you need to put this Mum was the one that set the fire alarm off, oh my not God, me. John, my aubergines have cooked, I've added the lentils. Here we go, they're looking great. They're called boats. And then um, when we get back from the dog walk, I'm gonna top them with vegan cheese and stick them in the oven to heat up. So I'm very excited. And I'm also cooking some courgettes for the side. Okay, so we finally made it out for a dog walk. It is like just after seven. Food's cooking away in the oven. Um, we've got Alfie on a like a long lead so that you know he can still explore it you can can you see the lead yeah there we go so he can still explore but also while staying on a lead because you know now it's the time when he needs to on the lead oh is this a mama grimes vlog or a misha grimes vlog because currently it just seems to be all about mum this is mum's sexy outfit i'm never in a vlog you've probably seen Don't a million times vlog. over um and I've got my white Bershka coat on and Alfie's just normal Alfie. Alfie's got his feminine jacket on. And so season. far we are 17 minutes into this walk. Hey! Yeah. Well, it didn't seem that long. Yeah. Trust me, if you were running it, it seemed like forever. <laughs> anyway, so yes, getting our unlimited exercise outside in. To be fair, we don't go out more than twice a day and that's only if I'm going for a run and then we go for a dog walk. Okay, so here's mine. I mean, I think it looks bloody nice, but bloody. To be fair, <coughs> there it does look a lot nicer. Alfie and Alfie spotted a bird. Good. Mm. Good. Yep. Fabulous, Amos. Anyway, I'm gonna tuck in. Should I get a taste test of mine? I haven't tried it yet. Excuse me. She's trying to spoon up my food before I've even tried it. Oh, I don't think it will be your kind of thing, but no, it's nice. I just think well, it wouldn't be your kind of thing. More <laughs> salt. In different circumstances, it does actually need some salt. That was blooming delicious. I could eat it all over again. <laughs> It's gone now, but no, that was really, really nice. I'd recommend, I'll leave the recipe uh, down below. I'm gonna make myself a mug cake. Ooh. Clubby's made them loads recently and I wanna make one and it's literally just like almond flour and like milk. So, let's see how it goes. And if I set the house on fire, I apologize. Okay, peeps, so I've just followed a recipe and made my cake. I obviously have not put it in the microwave yet. We've got some nana, we've got some, it says coconut milk, but I mean almond milk, but I used coconut. I didn't have any cacao powder, so I just used some vegan protein from Women's Best. A little drizzle of maple syrup, baking powder, it says peanut butter, but I used almond butter. And now we're going to pop this in the microwave and see what happens. Ooh. This is not what it looked like on Pinterest. I only put it in for a minute and a half, that's what it said. Oh my God, I'm so annoyed. So, I scooped it all back into the mug and I'm now watching it. I added a bit more almond milk as well. Also, these spots are just not going away and it's really annoying me. But yeah, and then I might just top it with some fruit. Maybe I'm not a mug cake queen after all. Let's see what it's like. Okay. 
Okay, it's starting to, oh, you can't really see, it's starting to look a bit more muggy, <laughs> like me, I'm a mug. Okay, everyone, this is what it has ended up looking like. Kind of looks a bit crap, if you ask me, but it tastes good, and that's all that matters. I might actually put a dollop of coconut yogurt on it, some cinnamon, and then we're good to go. Hi, so as per usual, we planned on starting watching TV at 9, and it's now 10.44, and I blame mum and dad, not Misha. I blame mum for taking 10 hours in the bathroom, and I blame oh, dad for just being dad. Um, anyway, so we're going to start watching Ozark, which dad really doesn't want to watch because he thinks it's going to be crap. Wow. He's just decided. <laughs> Someone messaged me, they're like, oh my god, you should watch Ozark, but there's a few sex scenes, so it might be awkward with your parents. And I literally just laughed. I was like, mate, you obviously haven't met my family. There's nothing that could be done or said that's awkward. <laughs> So anyway, we are going to watch this. <laughs> anyway, we're going to watch this, episode one, and I will report back and um, let you know what I think. Toodle pip. OMG, it's literally like half twelve. But also, this is currently what the room is looking like. So at half twelve, it seems like the perfect time to tidy. Woo! Anyway, let's get it done, because I'm not going to want to do it tomorrow morning. Hello, good morning. It's actually the afternoon. I might have gone to sleep at 5am after tidying up my room and then writing in my diary for three hours. Woo! But it's currently one o'clock, two minutes to one, and I'm trying on my tie-dyeing bits. So, okay, this is the, like, YSL print top. Um, but as you can see, it's a little bit of, like, an ugly shape. Like, for me, I'm not a fan of this t-shirt shape. So, I'm going to do what I did last time. I'm going to grab a pen and we're going to write, draw a mark on where we think it should crop. I might make this one a little bit longer and then I can always make it shorter, but I'm thinking of cutting it like there. Now we grab the t-shirt and we make sure that it's straight. We fold it in half. We grab ourselves some half sharp scissors and then we Okay, I'm gonna lay this down because this is definitely not a legit way of doing it. So cute. Okay, this one I don't think is too short. Like I could probably go out in it um, with no like bra underneath. But how freaking adorable. Also, how good did the shorts turn out? You think they're so cute? Obviously, I would not wear these two together, but like this little top with grey joggers would be so freaking adorable. I'm obsessed with it. <gasps> Yay! Okay, I'm gonna cut everything else and then I'll give you like a final fashion show when everything is ready. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I have transformed this oversized Primark men's t-shirt. It kind of reminds me of like the Justin Bieber merch with the whole worldwide thing. And I've turned it into a mother frickin' co-ord. Let me try and show you. Sorry, I've got you resting on my ring light rather than on a tripod. Can we see how freaking cute? I might have accidentally cut a little bit too short. We're now gonna get it off and we're gonna stretch it. I think it's because it's a tight fitting top that it shrinks a bit more. I think maybe acceptable on holidays, but not on the UK high street. Or like, Mind you, we won't be getting out for a little while. <laughs> um, or maybe with like a sports bra underneath, you know, Yeah, that's good idea. I think it'd look quite cute. Yeah. Anyway, let's try right. and stretch it. What? Okay, we should put it apart from each other. No! Then it's gonna go bigger, you idiot. You should oh, do that, that way. way. Yeah, so that you way. Want to... Okay, ready? Boo! <laughs> right. Three, no, two, one. one. I'm still going to the, the logo. No, no, you won't. But we need to do it first of all. Yeah, do, do the ends first. Okay. <laughs> She's a learner driver. Keep on, keep on going. Keep on I going. don't normally stretch my clothes. No, keep on going, keep on going. That's it, in the middle. If you let go of this, I am literally going <laughs> straight onto the bed and landing on my blooming laptop. Oh, she's pathetic. Okay, hold this here. I'm going to do the other bit. Oh. 
Right. Oh, oh same bit. Yeah, you don't know what you're don't doing. Don't ruin the logo though. See, see, you fold it, then you've got the whole thing, and then you meet your pool now. She's supposed to be the strong one. Oh, still doing oh the that is really good actually. I can feel the stretch coming this is on. My work. Oh, oh, she really is. <laughs> Okay, some exercise. Okay, oh, I reckon that's good. enough, surely. It's kind of giving it like a rugged. Okay, let's put it on and we'll find out. Okay, let's not do it live. Oh, goodness me. She's right in front of the window as well. No, Poor neighbours. No, they, they can't. They've got them in good binoculars. <laughs> um, what do you think? Has that made Maybe a tiny bit. Has. I think it's like a tiny bit. Yeah, could you not show your hands, please? <laughs> Actually, I quite like the loose ends on yeah, it. Yeah, that looks that good. A few of them. Yeah, but I think, hold on, because... Like, look, it looks quite nice when it, like, folds up a bit. Yeah. That's a bit like when you Cute. cut. It's a bit like when you're wrapping presents, isn't it? And you cut them. I mean, I'm not quite sure that's the look we're going. Oh, my God, that looks really good like that. Yeah. I think it's longer. What was that? Yeah. And then should no, be please don't, don't you don't shoot. You know when dare. people used to wear like basically like belts and skirts. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, okay. This is definitely a, the perfect example. There we go. There okay, we, let's not turn around. You don't want to see the bag. Oh my god! Talking about everything on display. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to the next one because we are literally going to take ten years. I've got to say, oh, okay. she's really good at it. Fine. I absolutely love it. This little T-shirt I got her literally, Mish. I'm not joking. Five years oh, ago. Oh my god, that looks so great. So fit. Look how good that looks. Oh my god, with how blinking fit this looks. Pity, Is that what? Pity you haven't got a date. I don't get it. Why do I need a date to wear this? I can just wear it. Well, you know, you could you could flaunt it all. Cute. Which clearly you are. That Cute. looks so fit. Mish, turn around, show your bottom. I mean, I bid you farewell. I'm going to actually put some makeup on and look like a decent human being. Without lashes, without nails, with roots, hairy armpits, hairy beaver, I mean, you name what it. What are you on about? <laughs> this is a time to, you know, chill out, literally. And let it all grow. Right, where is my phone? I don't know. You put it down every time you come in the room. Oh, I wish I was young. I could wear this. Oh my god, can you please try it on? Pee off. Go Just away. Bye. No way. One way to get rid of her. The yellow looks so cute. And then also, the tea is so long that I've managed to make like a full blown skirt out of it. Like a proper skirt. Um, This one looks great. I'm really happy with it. Yay! And also, I didn't cut this one too short, just, just not too short. Woo! Also, I'll link Elle's merch down below if you want to get it. We love her. Final piece. I tried to make one of those cool little light head things, but it hasn't really worked. Anyway, this is the final one. This is a lilac men's Primark little top. Again, it looks freaking sick. I'm so happy with how everything turned out. Literally got... The world's most amount of tie-dyed clothes and more will be coming once my coloured kit arrives.